A new patch for Star Citizen Alpha 3.19 B patch has hit Evo Cardi. And once again, we got our hands on the patch notes. A big shout out to the Pipeline Discord channel for getting these leaks out as soon as possible. All right, so we're going to go straight into the main content, which is going to be gameplay this time around. This uh, patch is very dense and it has a lot of interesting um, new gameplay mechanics that I think it's uh, I think most of us will like. To start off is the Tractor Beam Tier 0.5 Item Attaching and Detaching Enabling the handheld tractor beams to attach and detach items such as ship components and allowing players to sell those salvage items for profit. This iteration of the tractor beam gameplay will add the functionality to the tractor beam attachment of the multi-tool to detach and attach items from ship's item ports. This functionality can either be used for component exchange, replacement, or restocking, for example, rockets, or scavenge other ships to use or make a profit. Players can lock and unlock the ability to remove the weapons and components from their ship by locking or unlocking the exterior through the pilot seat. While aiming at the component with the tractor beam to detach it, hold B and it will highlight the object with the glow around its perimeter. Left click and drag to pull the component loose from its socket or hard point. While attaching a component, an AR marker will appear and give the players guidance on the correct orientation to attach the component incorrectly. If the hollow is green, simply let go and it will attach. If the hollow outline is yellow, rotate it until the outline turns green. If, if the hollow outline is red, the item does not fit the item port requirements. Tractor beam attach mode made default allows display of ship item names. Up next is the salvage claim polish pass. It says additional fixes to help travel to salvage objectives, fix objectives completing before players get their salvage, added progress bar to lawless contracts, and fix the travel to salvage objective completing before getting there. Change completion percentage from 90 to 80% for easy and medium contracts. Before we move on, I'd like the new people to know that we are doing a giveaway for an LTI Greycat STV. In order to participate, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment between the month of April. All right, let's move on with the rest of the video. Up next is Mining Balancing version 01. With 3.19 comes the update to both ship and FPS with wide sweep and balance changes to sell price, refining effectiveness and cost component stats, multi-crew mining efficiency, mineable difficulties, masses with larger asteroids, resource distribution, as well as the addition of new mineables. Man, this is huge. The goal in B19 is to make multi-crew mining more attractive and even out all the materials to make them all more lucrative instead of a select few. This patch is one of the patches I'm excited about because it's going to add a lot of content, especially in mining and salvage. So this is interesting. So now about ship mining specifically, it says resource distribution has been updated to reflect a more distinct distribution of material throughout Stanton, which means that several locations per planet per moon now hold exclusive resources rather than full random resources. Additionally, we define so-called standard resources that are a given in each mineable you will encounter. The rest of the elements have chances to appear in those rocks. The updated resource distribution is also reflected in trading availability and refining capabilities. Every mining gadget, head, and sub-item can have a full balance pass for stats, cost, and efficiency. Every item that is connected to mining gameplay loop is updated to target specific resources to be mined better or worse depending on the setup of your mining head. That's very interesting. Multi-crew mining has also been balanced with the mole getting a buff on instability if the same laser fires on the same rock while prospectors will get a punishment for multiple prospectors firing at the same rock on instability. 
So that's interesting. That's really, really interesting. When it comes to FPS mining, it says a new mineable is introduced and it's only available in the new cave system and has high value to encourage players to go mining with their FPS tools instead of prison. When it comes to the changes in the mining update, it says resource update, concept of mineable rarity for resources. The first one is standard. Base resources of mineable always part of any rock like iron. Common is chance to be a part of a rock like barrel. Uncommon chance to be a part of a rock like gold. Rare is a chance to be a part of a rock like quantanium. Dedicated locations of resources that have been standard rarity like aerial have iron and quartz. Updated properties for resources. Each resource should affect the property of the rock based on their amount. Updated mass for mineables resource composition affect the mass of the rock more variant rock sizes and masses small ones that do not need breaking to massive rocks that require multiple players very nice very nice additional rock types with unique chances of resource composition remove diamonds temporarily on the side of fps mining update they added genelite as an fps mineable to the caves very rare but very valuable Updated resource prices and demand at TDDs. The further away from the standard material, the more profit. Updated refining yield and time for certain materials to encourage longer distance to travel for the best money per hour. Full item rework. Mining heads now have a min and max laser power. Mining heads have different laser powers per size. Mining heads have different extraction speeds where there is also a difference between size 2 and size 1. So that's uh, something that I always thought they should have done a long time ago. I'm glad they're adding this now. So if you have a size 1, you're encouraged to get a size 2 if you want to handle bigger rocks essentially. Mining heads have different ideal distances, updated resistance values for all mining items, updated instability mitigation values for all mining items unified properties for all mining modules and mining gadgets buffed active modules drastically added new property exclusive to mining gadgets called cluster modifier that cluster elements together if you split a rock it increases the chance that the elements are together in one broken piece that's that's a really nice uh attachment there Filtering on some items that remove the inert from rocks you are collecting. Sub item slots on mining head are different between size 1 and 2. Resistance reduction is now multiplicative. They've also made some updates to instability. When it comes to UI update, it's a difficulty forecast that tell you how easy it is to break the rock you are facing. Reordered some elements of the UI. Detail the mining items you have currently equipped. Details on your current cargo. A clear scanning display that clearly explain what is happening during the scanning. And the Synergy Tractor Beam allows the detach and attach mining modules, head, and sacks. Interesting. So we're going to be removing sacks in the next build. That's interesting. I like to uh, finally get to do that. Um, they've done a bunch of uh, bug fixes, which I'm not going to go through or else this video will just be too long and also three client crashes as long with one server crash. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.